I think it's the case that we're maybe not changing trap, we're evolving trap and we're complementing trap with new features, new capabilities, extending the use of trap beyond its previous traditional boundaries on a deployed customer site. Part of that is to do with industry trends and themes that are emerging. There's a real confluence of events that's happening at the moment around the, the rise and general adoption of cloud that's really taken off. The corresponding focus on the total cost of ownership that then needs to play off and work out whether those cloud dynamics work for customers. And then one of the big uh, industry trends that we have seen emerge recently is the blurring of lines between a developer that develops and a trader that trades. It's now much more a case that you've got technical traders and you've got developers who are dabbling in trading. That means that they are looking for new capabilities, new ways to experiment and explore content, and we need to be there and be able to address those challenges with TREP. I think TREP's always had an important place in our customer site. It's always been central to the workflow. It's a critical, trusted part of the operation, and people are expecting it to be there and be able to address those challenges as they evolve into these, uh, into these new themes. Part of what we're looking at with TREP is just the wider ecosystem about how TREP uh, interacts, but it's not just about TREP. We've got the content that comes in, such as our Electron Real Time, but we also have a wide variety of customers generating their own internal traffic as well as third-party content. TREP then has its enterprise capabilities to manipulate and transform that content. We have all of our range of um, APIs, the Electron SDK, WebSockets, our legacy APIs to interact and extract that content. And then we have uh, all of the entitlement management and cost control that uh, DAX brings to the table. All of those pieces need to be able to work in conjunction with each other. So aside from all of the longer term strategy work that we've got going on, we're also focused on the, uh, the immediate roadmap for 2020. In 2019, we worked a lot on the orchestration, the virtualization, and the containerization agenda to make sure that we could actually offer something for customers that needed to be in the public cloud. But equally so, all of those different capabilities are applicable if you're in a customer deployed, a traditional data center, or in a private cloud as well. We'll continue to build on that in 2020 and be offering more capabilities around other cloud providers, around making our software even more cloud friendly. So we've been releasing lots of new uh, material to get the message out in 2020. We've got a regular uh, cycle of roadmaps that we release, not just for TREP, but for all of the different real-time products. We have what's new documents. We've got virtualization performance test results. There's a whole range of documents, and they're all available on MyRefinitiv. And if you want to look there, great, there's lots of material. What we're also doing though, which has been one of the big changes, has been around the customer advisory forums. These CAFs of events that we started in 2019 to get that message to a select group of our customers. It's an environment where the customers meet directly with our developers, our architects, our product heads, and we can walk them through what our roadmaps are, what our strategies are, and we can get direct feedback from the customer. It's been an invaluable source of information both for us and for the customer. We'll continue to do those through 2020, and we're looking forward to them.